Hello, we're here today to talk about how to put audio files into Google Slides. Now, I'm going to tell you that first you have to have those audio files in your Google Drive. Now, if you've recorded your own files, let's say I'm teaching phonics and I'm teaching the ch or k sh sound or the th sound, and, and I want my kids to, to know those, I'm going to record those and I could use something called Twisted Wave, which we all have access to, and it will save it right to my Google Drive. I could also use Screencastify and then download it as an audio only file. Uh, I, I can do those things, but I have to make sure that they are in my Google Drive. If they're, if those audio files are not in my Google Drive, Google won't be able to find them and I won't be able to insert them into my presentation. So to do that, you go to new and you're going to go to file upload and upload those files from either your desktop or wherever they might be. They're somewhere else on the web. You're going to have to download those first to your device and then up into Google Drive. If you've used a Twisted Wave or you use Screencastify, that audio file is going to be um, on your desktop from Screencastify, but Twisted Wave will have already put it into your Google Drive, so no problems there, right? So how am I going to do this? How am I going to get that audio file into Google Slides and then attach an image to it? I can't use a link because it's just going to link it to something in my Google Drive. Let me show you how. So I'm going to start here with a fresh uh, slide. Okay, I have nothing, nothing on this slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Insert because that's where I go first. And the first, the third option down is Audio. So I'm going to click Audio. All right, and I am going to find a an audio file. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. It's Darth Vader. Okay, and I want you to look right here. You're going to notice that it's giving me an image of a little speaker. I can change that image. Yes, I can. I can change that image, which is exactly what I am going to do. So to change that image, this is what you do. Let me just scroll out. I click on it. Make sure I have my handles on it. And look right here. What does it say? It says replace image. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I click replace image. I can upload an image from my computer or I can search the web. So I'm going to search the web. And I know this is a Darth Vader sound. Okay. And I'm going to use this one right here. Replace. And you see it's kind of small, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out a bit. There we go. So now when we click on him, he's going to make he's going to make the sound of Darth Vader. Let's see. Very, very cool. All right, that's 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 one. I could add a whole bunch on here if I wanted to, right? Um, I've actually I actually have a soundboard that I have created right here. Here's my soundboard, all right? And when I'm presenting, it actually it it, uh, it each is it serves as a button. But if I click right right here, oh, I'm so sorry. Time is up, right? I see I made that I made the soundboard so you know we could have fun like you know when we're, when we're doing some of our trainings that we can actually have some of the, those background sounds that that was really fun to do now we can do that for our students you know again having words that start with certain letter combinations and then you know hearing them I would have them record themselves saying some stuff and putting it in there as well so again you I you use twisted wave and you to put it in here I'm going to show you one more time how to do that because I did one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to insert another audio file. Okay. I'm going to scroll down until I find one. Um, this one. Okay. This one is ta-da. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and replace the image. And I'm going to search the web and we're going to search for shark just because that's a big ta-da for me right here. Here we go. Replace. Click on it. Replace. It's going to make it real tiny. So I'm going to stretch it out. There he is. And now, yay, how about that? I'm able to add 
again, that audio file to an image and make it a lot more interesting and exciting for our students. How fun is that, right? Um, and you can add many, 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 many slides to this that you wanted to do. You could have your students do this. One of the things you have with the format options here, this is all about the image. You can make the image more transparent. What I did to create the buttons on this one is I just created buttons in Google Draw. I did a 200 pics by a 100 rectangle. Um, and then I added the text to it. And then I found emojis and different things to, to let me know, you know, here, you know, hey, you guys! from the electric company, I just added this stuff in there, uh, just, just for fun. But again, think about the power of this. If you were to make like a CH on there and when they clicked it, you had some words that started with CH, you did the sound, you had some words that start with it. Maybe you have one of your students who's a really great reader do that recording, right? And again, you can record in Screencastify. You can record in Twisted Wave, right? You can also record if you've got a Mac on GarageBand. There's a lot of different ways that you can record, but the free versions, of course, do it on Screencastify. Do it on Twisted Wave. It's already right there. It's in the cloud. Um, you know, not, not, too, not too hard to do. So this is a great little uh, way to make, again, your your um, slideshows more in, engaging for your students and let them be creative and, and start working on some on their own. Imagine what they can do. 